Shalom and welcome to our lesson on finding any length in a right angle triangle. We're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of A. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the area of a square on the hypotenuse side, which is opposite the right angle, so the area of the square on the side of a 20 centimetre, which is 20 squared, is equal to the area of a square on the 12 centimetre side plus the area of the square on the A centimetre side. Using this, we can work out 20 squared, which is 400, and that is equal to 144 plus A squared. We can take 144 from both sides, and this will equal 0. 400 take away 144 is 256. And that is equal to a squared. We can square root both sides because the square root and the square root cancel. So the length of a will be the square root of 256, which is 16 centimeters. You can also work out the length of b using the same idea. So the area of the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, the area of the square on this side. 13 squared is equal to the area of the square on the 12 side plus the area of the square on the side of B. 13 squared is 169. 12 squared is 144 plus B squared. We can take away 144 from both sides. So B squared will equal 25. We can square root both sides. The square and the square root will cancel. So B will equal 5 centimeters. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. Do you want to try and work out the length of C in the green right angle triangle and the perpendicular height of this cone by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question C, the hypotenuse is the 12 centimetre side, because it is opposite the right angle, and the area of the square on the hypotenuse side is equal to the area of the square on the 8 side plus the area of the square on the side of C. So 144 is equal to 64 plus C squared. We can take away the 64 from both sides. Needs will cancel. So AT will equal C squared. And we can square root both sides because the square and the square root will cancel. And the square root of AT is approximately 8.9. So the length of C is equal to 8.9 to one decimal place. And finally, we can model this cone as a right angle triangle if we drop a perpendicular line from the convergent point to the base. So the other side in the right angle triangle is the radius of the base, which is half the 12, so this is 6. So now we have a right angle triangle where the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, is 24. So 24 squared is equal to the area of a square on the side of D, which is D squared plus the area of a square on the side of a 6, which is 6 squared. So 24 squared is 576, and that is equal to d squared plus 36. So d squared is equal to 540. So d is equal to the square root of that which is approximately 23.2 centimetres. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.